Well, welcome back. As we continue our MKE Influencer Series, this week we meet someone who found his calling the first time he picked up a paintbrush. CBS 58's Taj Mahal introduces us to a hometown artist who's inspiring people all over the world with his unique paintings. What do you guys think? What do you see? Art has a way of inspiring people. For Sheldon Wilbon, a.k.a. Hey Pooh Brezzy. It's Pooh Brezzy here, and I have a 60 by 48 inch canvas. We're going to paint an abstract anime eye. This blank canvas is a tool that helps connect his inner creativity to the world. I see a lot of things going on in the world. I use my painting as a getaway. I just always just did it for a therapeutic reason for myself. Sheldon lives in Arizona now, but was born and raised in Milwaukee. Growing up, he spent a lot of time right here at True School, a nonprofit that teaches creative arts and hip hop culture. He credits True School for helping him develop a lot of his artistic talents. The inspiration to keep pursuing his passions comes from someone close. My mom um, always was there to encourage the artistic side of me. Actually, at one point, I actually didn't want to paint no more, and I wanted to break dance. He danced and pursued music for a while, but eventually found his way back to a paintbrush. Back in 2020, during the pandemic, Sheldon says the isolation sparked a level of deep creativity. Being inside the house, I kind of got depressed slash bored. I decided to paint my entire house. I painted the living room, my room, bedrooms, hallways, and I painted murals in the whole house. And I was thinking to myself, I should share this with people. Sheldon's work is focused on anime, a Japanese style of animation that inspires him. The art in anime is like a whole different like vibe. Before his first canvas, this anime artist painted on denim jackets, something a friend taught him. One of my friends, Gene Tate, teaches me how to do it. Sheldon posted a jacket he painted online and it went viral. When I painted the jacket, I painted it for myself. And if people saw it, and everyone was asking me, can I get it, can I get it? I told everybody, no. And then one day, this one guy just got online, and he was like, I'll give you this much for it. I was like, whoa, all right. And I just kept doing commissions. Between Instagram and TikTok, he now has more than 1.5 million followers. Literally, it was like an overnight thing. That was crazy. Despite his social media success, Sheldon says he doesn't paint for followers. And unless it's a commissioned project, he actually finds it difficult to part with his work. I get like emotional just seeing those paintings. I'm not talking about falling tears, but like emotions as in pride, joy, happiness. The characters that I paint, they have the symbolic reasons behind them why I put them on my walls. So what's next for this artist? He's now working on his own anime series called Poya. It's about a boy that basically gets thrown into a life he don't want to be into and forced into, and he wants to find his way out of it. He's excited to share his anime with the world and hopes to continue inspiring others. The support, though, that I get from people is crazy, and all around the world, I don't take that for granted. Reporting in Milwaukee, I'm Taj Mahal, CBS 58 News. Wow, that is some talent, and it just shows you how powerful social media can oh. be for people to, to get their message or their for talents sure. out there. A guy that was battling depression and sadness during the pandemic painted his walls and then took it to the you know canvas of a jacket. Am I the only one that wants to know how much he got for the jacket? I really want to know. <laughs> We'll have to ask Tajma. <laughs> That's Tajma. I don't know if he told her, but still, yes, very curious. But continued success of that man, for sure. Yeah. And you can find the full uncut interview with Sheldon Wilbon on the CBS 58 YouTube page, along with our entire MK Inf Influencers series.